Good morning! Happy day 3 of Vlogmas and it's 20 days till Christmas! Hi guys! Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Monosi, also known as Monosi Eat Vegan. So, this vlogmas, we're trying to get our Christmas menu together. So today, I'm going to be making two side dishes. Now, I struggle finding a side dish to make. It's really a struggle for me. It's not my strong point. But today, I'm going to be showing you my favorite recipe that I have of stuffed butternut. And then, we're going to be trying a recipe that I found on Pinterest of... They make some garlic mushrooms. Yes, I'm making mushrooms again. If it's not been evident yet, it's clear now that I love mushrooms. So let's get right into it. Now we're gonna start with the stuffed butternut. So over here I've got a one large butternut. I've got the oven preheating already at 180 Celsius degrees. And we're gonna cut this butternut in half try to be safe as possible we're gonna stuff it with some creamy spinach yeah. this better be good all oh, this hard work i am strong there we go half the butter and then now i've got a spoon over here and we're gonna get all the insides of the seeds don't throw these seeds away, just wash them, get rid of all the pulp that's around them. And then you can spice them, oil there, put a bit of oil and roast them. Get it, get it, get it. Done, and now I'm going to oil this. Drizzle some olive oil to help it along the way. Massage the butter that. Turn it around. Then I'm going to give it a few stabs with a fork. And then I'm going to put it in the pan to roast. Facing down like this until it's soft. Today my drink of choice is water because I'm so thirsty. And it's so hot. No way I'm having coffee. For the filling, we're making creamy spinach as I said. So over here I've got one small onion three garlic cloves one is humongous like this is a huge garlic clove so i guess if we have smaller sizes that would be four garlic cloves or whatever your spirit tells you it can act like a bit of main dish for a vegan person it's just that it doesn't have protein. Like, give me some beans, give me some tofu. Like, I need protein. Finally chopping this gar. And behind me over here, I have some cashews that I'm boiling because I forgot to soak them overnight. They've been boiling for about one hour, 30 minutes. You just boil them until they soft. But one thing with boiling cashews, you have to watch them i the water evaporates so quickly i can't tell you how many batches of cashews i've burnt well, how much cashew did i say i've got in there it's half a cup of cashews like just raw cashews they unsalted make sure you use unsalted if you have the salted ones i would advise you to rinse them first and try to get rid of as much salt as possible then i'm going to finally dice small onion onion done with the onion let me get rid of the dirt i'm just putting a pan on the stove that i'm gonna saute these ingredients in and now i've got my blender over here and i'm gonna add my boiled cashews let me drain the water quickly water drain Pop the cashews really nice and soft and then to that I'm gonna add 
a cup of unsweetened, unsweetened, very important, unsweetened soy milk. No, not a cup and a quarter. Half a cup and a quarter cup. I will write the recipe properly down below. And then we're going to add some nutritional yeast. Two tablespoons of that. That's going to give you cheesy, nutty flavor. Cheesy tablespoons of that. And I'm going to add a few drops. About, let me say a tablespoon because you want it to be, to give you the sour note that you would get from cheese. A tablespoon of vinegar. And then I'm going to blend that up until it is smooth and saucy. Let me do that quickly. Look at how nice and thick and creamy that is. The pan is warm, so I'm going to add some oil to it. Now we're going to saute the onion and garlic. Get that in our pan. No. Of course I spoke. The onion is burning my eyes. Do you know that if you season while you're sautéing and then it gets too hot, it slows it down because what salt, what salt does is draw out the moisture in the onion. Then I'm going to add some Italian herbs. I'm going to say about a teaspoon. You want to get in as much flavor as possible. I think I'm using a pan that's too small. Story of my life. Searching for the right pan, but I can't find it. 190 grams of frozen spinach. You can use fresh spinach too, but I actually buy spinach in bulk and then just chop it up and pop it in the bag and freeze it. We're gonna let that defrost and then we're gonna add the sauce. I just checked on the butternut squash and I had to turn the heat down a bit. It was browning quicker than it's getting cooked. Now you know how spinach is gonna do. It's gonna shrink. Ain't told nothing. It's so quiet. I was checking. We still have electricity. Because yo, if you know, you know. Now I'm just letting the water evaporate. I think we got rid of enough water. Now we're going to add our sauce. I'm going to start with the sauce that's stuck at the top of the blender lid. I don't want to lose any of the sauce. Adding all of the, look at that. Ooh. I need my apron to arrive. Dead. And now we're gonna stir that in. Look at how creamy that looks. Look at that. Let me taste so I can adjust the seasoning. Just need some salt and black pepper. Black pepper. I will write the full recipe for you guys down below. One more taste. Delicious. You guys better make this. I flipped it around moments ago. This is what we're looking like. And then let's taste the softness. It is fork tender. So it is ready to be stuffed. So that took about 30 minutes. What we're going to do now is scoop out some of the flesh. Not this flesh in the where you got the pips out. The flesh here so you can be able to add the spinach in there and then we're adding it to this mixture so we're not getting rid of it at all just want to get rid of some of it so you have space and this is what we're looking like now I have space to add the spinach so I'm just gonna mash let me use the spoon the butter knife and then mix it through now it's nice and mixed through now I'm gonna move the butter nut over to this dish that's oven safe but I love the uh, one that you love to serve from and I'm gonna place because this one is not dirty with all the caramelization of the butter nut that happened so place that in here 
add all of this mixture into the butternut. You can't tell me this doesn't look divine. I've got the oven onto the grill setting, so we're gonna grill. We just wanna brown the top and have it looking beautiful. While we're waiting for the stuffed butternut to brown, we're gonna start prepping for the garlic mushrooms. The recipe is by Victoria. I found them on Pinterest. I am finally, finally cooking all the things that I've not everything, cooking the things that I've pinned. My Pinterest bucket list is being completed. I'm snacking on some cherries. I love cherries, they're my favorite. So the veggies I need to prep before is the garlic. I've got two garlic cloves that I'm gonna chop finely. And then I'm gonna chop some basil and clean my mushrooms with some paper towel. But let me check on our butter not so long. I think it's ready. We are here, we are ready. Chop, 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 chop the garlic. I could have used my garlic crusher. I guess I'm a sucker for punishment. Then I've got basil over here. The recipe uses basil and parsley. I don't have parsley, so I'm just gonna use basil. Then I've got some button mushroom. Victoria used brown mushroom, but remember I'm all about using what you have on hand, adjusting recipes how you need to. Then we're going to use a paper towel to wipe mushrooms. I know some people like to rinse their mushrooms, but mushrooms are porous, so they're going to absorb the water and we're going to get watery mushrooms. So I just remove the dirt with a paper towel. I'd say so far we're well on our way to having like a delicious Christmas. Now I've got a pan ready behind me. To it I'm gonna add some butter. Uh, go figure, the pan is not hot enough. It's still getting there. Add the shrews. We don't cut them. We use them as they are. Now we're cooking. We're gonna brown these a bit before we add the garlic because we don't want the garlic to burn you see they're starting to change color i'll link the recipe down below but i think like this is so easy you can interpret it however and you wouldn't go wrong now that it's nice and hot and we're going i'm gonna add the garlic it's a lot of garlic because it's garlic mushrooms so you want them to be very garlicky I love the smell of garlic. And I'm going to add my salt and black pepper. I love black pepper. Some of mommy don't really. Don't have her. I'm going to deplace the pan with a bit of white wine. How you know that the alcohol is cooked off is you'll stop smelling the alcohol and it will just be the nice aromas white wine garlic i mean i mean what else do you want the smell of alcohol is gone it's evaporated switching off the stove adding my basil and it goes Three. Guess what, baby? We are done. Done, done. Now we're getting them in a serving dish. These beautiful mushrooms. Now I made a small batch because we're just trying it out. But you will obviously make a larger quantity of this. Sprinkle some more basil over the top. And Dish. Now I'm going to taste, I'm going for the mushrooms first, eating one mushroom with some garlic, trying to get the perfect bite, we want perfect bite. Mm. For how simple this is, it packs so much flavor, super easy. I give this recipe a 9 out of 10, very simple, delicious, you have this ready in 
10 minutes I believe or less very easy and then the butternut stuffed butternut I'm gonna eat the skin too I do eat the skin got a nice piece there mm, 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 mm. this butternut is so sweet that's why it was so hard I guess sweet butternut creamy spinach those cashews give you creaminess like nothing else can give you the black pepper is coming through too and the nutritional yeast is a must because it gives you the cheesy flavor this and this a winner i gave you two sides that are winners with the butternut recipe you can prepare this the night before you're stuffing the whole thing and not grill it yet so then on the day of all you have to do is grill it so you can warm it up and then brown the top so that is it for vlogmas day 3 20 day to christmas see you again the day after today for another video we'll be doing something sweet maybe my favorite recipe i have ever ever created my cheesecake maybe we'll see and thank you for joining me please come again next time subscribe if you haven't bye